How hot is that bottom? No way. No way. You're probably not meant to do this, but I can pick that up. I can pick that up and it's not burning me. This tiny little pot is the lo-fi stove, a solid fuel burning stove with temperature control because you plug it in, you power it with a little USB power source. There's an, a fan inside that circulates air around it and using um, a speed controller, you can increase and decrease the speed of that fan and therefore temperature control a fire of sticks, a fire of leaves, a fire of pine cones, a fire of wood pellets because anything that burns, you can use this to cook on. It's really, really cool and I can't wait to show you what it can do. I first became aware of this stove when I was on Instagram and saw this guy called Johnny was using the stove to use sheep dung to make an espresso. So I've collected a good pile of poop, quite a lot here. <laughs> bubbling, it's bubbling. Yes, it's actually efficient enough to burn sheep dung, which is absolutely um, incredible. So I reached out to Johnny um, and he's currently in the pre-production stage. It's a pre-production prototype ready to go to manufacture. And he sent me one of only five in existence to test out which I've been doing today. Oh, I intend to. Oh, I intend to. Let's get a look at, oh, it's so, so small. Look at the size of that. It's like, it's about, it's not much bigger than a can of Coke. And in terms of weight, this thing weighs less than a 100 gram tank of gas. Cause a 100 gram tank of gas is about 150 grams by the time you include the actual can itself. This is lighter than that. This is actually lighter than that. It's got this little ember guard in the top here, which I think stops embers coming out that hole, focuses the heat. And then down in the inside here, you've got a USB cable, USB-C connection, and then this speed controller on the side. There's some holes down the inside of it. And you've got the logo down in there as well. So I've got a lot of information about this I could read, but you know what? Let's just try and get using it, never used this before, this is my very first time. So the way this works is that you connect it up to a power source, plug that in there. And my power source in this case is gonna be this small 2500 milliamp power bank. This will power this on the low setting for I think 30 hours and on the high setting for about five. So it's really, really low power draw. You can also power it from a mobile phone that has reverse charging. Um, and you need to check, make sure your phone supports that. So I'm just gonna plug this in. Never mind, I've never used this before. Okay, so I can hear it immediately. I hear the fan going. Oh yeah, I can feel the air. What happens if I turn this? Oh, yeah, you can hear it go up. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it on low and let's just try and get a fire going and try and do a quick boil with whatever I can find at my feet. So minimal effort. The only thing I prepared is this. This is a really simple natural wood fire light. You can get these really, really cheaply. I could like go and shred tinder and use a fire steel, but I thought, you know what, let's just do this really, really quickly. Here we go. Drop it in. Okay. Right, let's quickly just grab whatever I can find around me and chuck it in the top. Ah, oh, that's cool. Look at the flames coming out of the holes at the top. That is so cool. The holes around, around the top, um, it looks like there's actually flame coming out of it, but it's not. It's just because whatever way it circulates the, the gases. I'm not sure those sticks should be poking out the top there. Might need to break these things down a bit smaller. So I'm just gonna chuck twigs and things in here until I've got like a good sort of ember heat down the inside of it. This is going like, how long did that take? That was less than a minute. Let's just turn this up even higher. All right. <laughs> how hot is that bottom? No way. No way. You're probably not meant to do this, but I can pick that up. I can pick that up and it's not burning me. 
the air flow's all going up the way, so that like bottom bit stays cool. Chuck the amber guard on. And I'll throw a few more things in and I turn the turn the airflow down. And the flame intensity reduces. That is incredible. It's like using gas. It's like you suddenly got the control of gas. But with 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 biomass, with twigs. Just everything, twigs lying around, just things that the everyday trees leave behind. 300, three, four hundred millimeters of water, which is about as much as um, your typical dehydrated ration pack is going to use. I use very, very little. I'm putting sticks directly off the ground here. It rained last night. Some of this stuff's wet, and that is burning. It's so little smoke coming off it. We're nearly boiling. Okay, there we go. And we have boiling. So what Johnny told me is uh, when you're finished cooking on it, just leave this on low and let the fire burn itself out. There we go. I just boiled 400 milliliters of water using nothing but scraps off the forest floor and a little bit of electricity. How much ash do you think is left in this after a boil? That's it. <laughs> Hardly anything. I just poured it over my tripod. <laughs> so obviously this little stove is more than capable of boiling water using free or at least incredibly cheap fuel you find lying around. But what I want to know is, forget about boiling water. Can you cook a gourmet meal on this. Let's find out. I'm walking along the remnants of an old tarmac road and it's an old tarmac road that only becomes visible certain times of the year when the water level in this reservoir is lower. Further along there is a little stone bridge that you can see on a particularly dry summer. This road, <laughs> it fell in, this road used to extend all the way across where the reservoir is now until one day it was swallowed up by progress. And speaking of progress, we have this, the lo-fi stove. Is this kind of technology, this kind of innovation, the progress that's going to eventually mean that we're going to stop using gas? Maybe not for every application, but to be honest, I do think for quite a lot of applications, something like this, I think, has a very bright future. I mean, I can definitely see me carrying this now instead of a gas stove for all kinds of trips because yes it's good for the environment yes it produces less waste but it's also incredibly cool all right <laughs> let's just face it cooking your dinner on sticks from the ground at a stove powered with electricity and air and been able to temperature control solid fuel it's just cool it really is just Cool, so yeah, I really like this little lo-fi stove and I can't wait to test it more. You can expect to see it appear in, in some more videos on my channel. It's coming to Kickstarter um, around about August or September. So if you're wanting to get your hands on one yourself, um, keep a lookout. I'll put a link below to the website and to the Instagram account where you can go and sign up for information if you really want to get one of these. I think they're gonna cost around 140 pounds. So they are expensive, but there's a couple of things I'll say to that. And one is that innovation is always expensive, especially at the start. And the other thing is that if you think about it, a jet boil stove, if we're gonna compare something that you know you might swap out, jet boil stoves cost like 90 to 100 pounds plus, and the jet boil stash that I use quite a lot costs 120, I think. And you don't need to buy fuel for this, so over time, this is actually going to work out 
cheaper. But personally, I like this cute little stove. You can let me know down in the comments what you think of this. I'd also be interested to know what you think might work uh, really well as a fuel for this. As you've seen from my video, you can just burn whatever is lying about. But go check out the official Instagram page and you'll see that you can even use sheep dung <laughs> to, 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 uh, to power this, which is just, just insane. As always, really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you get a chance, get outdoors. Maybe someday I'll see you in the trails. Bye-bye.